I'm about to show you guys a super dominant defense that you need to use to win more games in Madden 23. Looking for Madden 23 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com has the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. In today's Madden 23 tip video, I'm going to be looking at one of my favorite defenses in the game that's going to allow you to easily win more games, get good pressure, play good coverage. And there's a few different setups I want to break down. We're coming to you guys from the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. We're going to be breaking down this nickel over. Now, we're going to be looking at some match coverage. We're going to be blitzing from match. So this is different. A lot of times I'm playing match to sit in coverage. This time we're going to be blitzing. So make sure to go to the coaching adjustments, turn your zone coverage adjustment to match. And then also you're going to want your auto flip set to on. And in the nickel over formation, the biggest importance, I would say, is to have fast DNs, uh, linebackers, you can something in your safeties. But we're actually going to be using a safety from this cover four quarters. Now I'm going to look at it against a few different offensive formations. I want to look at gum bunch offset. This formation was recently used to win the latest MCS tournament by Henry. Really good offense. I actually have been running the Colts playbook myself a lot on offense. Sneak peek of that coming soon. So anyways... This is going to have a few different setups, guys. We're going to be blitzing from a few different angles with this play. Now, before we get into it, just a quick reminder, guys. I do free Madden 23 tip videos on a daily basis on my channel. I also do gameplay. So if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Comment on the video. Let's get to 350 likes on this video, and we'll post another really good defense from this nickel over formation. So, the first setup. This is going to be good for someone who's just coming to the line, quick snapping you. You don't have a lot of time to do adjustments. So all I'm going to do... Let's pinch my defense down, and then I'm going to blitz the slot corner. All right. So once I do this, I'm going to just sit on this three-wreck hook zone. All right. And this is going to be, like I said, really good if someone's not really doing any adjustments. They're just quick snapping. You could also use the safety on the weak side of the offensive formation. So like here, if they got three receivers to the right, I'll use the left safety. But you know, either, either way works. So basically, that's all you have to do. And you just kind of want to stand, if you're on the linebacker, over the D-tackle. As you guys are going to see here, you're going to get quick pressure off the edge. If you're enjoying my free YouTube content, I highly recommend checking out SportsGamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content for Madden 23. I have offensive and defensive ebooks, schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Vault to keep you guys ahead of the game. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This is the best Madden membership anywhere on the net, the best content at the best price. You get access to the entire site for only $24.99. This means all of our ebooks, all of our Madden Vault tips, plus you even get access to our meta reports and our exclusive VIP members only community. I also do one on one coaching as well for you guys that are interested in that. See you at sportsgamers.com. If you're serious about winning more games, I will post a link in the description as well as in the comments. Again, it's very simple pinch your defense. And then you're just going to blitz the slot corner. That's really it. You do want to make sure, depending upon formation, the slot corner is lined up next to the D end, just kind of like this. When I use the linebacker, I just get right over the D tackle. And that's all you got to do. Again, this is good for a quick snapping offense. You can guard whatever is coming open. As you guys can see, we get the sack there. Pretty simple, right? Now, if they block the running back, you're going to want to use another setup, which I'll show you in a second. But just take a look. See how you're easily able to get that fast pressure. Now right here, my responsibility, because the way this defense works, the quarter flat is responsible for the flat. My responsibility would be to guard the first guy hitting the flat on the right side of the screen, since I did blitz the nickel corner on the quarter flat, right? That's what I should have guarded. Uh, I didn't do that here, but that's what I would have done in a real game. So just to explain to you guys how this coverage works, um, the quarter flats essentially are assigned to guard the first guy that hits the flat on each side of the field. So this guy... Say the running back went out on a wheel route or out of the backfield to the left, he would guard him. This guy, it's like anyone who hits the flat on the right side of the screen, he's going to guard him, right? So that's just kind of how it works. And then the deep zones, they're going to match like deeper routes on the sideline. So like a corner route will get matched by Ramsey on the right. Um, you know, potentially a C route could get matched on the left by this guy. Then the safeties are going to be over the top. All right, so let's say they block the running back. So there's a few different ways you can utilize this defense against, you know, different blocking. So there's a few different ways you guys can set this blitz up if they're going to block the running back. As we do here, as you guys see, the running back's going to stay in. So in a situation like this, I'm going to blitz my linebackers down and then blitz the slot corner, QB contain. 
Now, I'm not actually gonna blitz my user Wagner. I'm just gonna keep him on a blitz angle to make the setup easy. I'm gonna just go ahead and take away the first read uh, with my user. As you guys can see there, you're gonna get somebody free because we're rushing six um, you know, now. So you guys can see here, essentially two people came in. Well, really three almost came in here. The running back didn't really know who to block. We took away that first read in the flat and everyone else was matched up. The other way I like to run this that I actually prefer to do against a, of a blocked running back is a little bit different. So you're still gonna pinch the defense, but instead of blitzing the quarter flat, what we're gonna do is blitz both linebackers and then we're gonna get on the, basically the safety and we're just gonna use him over the center, right? Now this allows you to keep the quarter flat on the strong side of the offensive formation so you don't have to worry about the flat anymore then you as a user, you just have to guard over the middle of the field, right? Now, as I mentioned, this defense will work against any offensive formation. So here you see we're in spread. Again, you have a few different ways you can run this. First of all, if they're just going to, you know, send everybody out on routes, you can just base the line, pinch your defense. Now, I like the baseline in spread formations to make sure your linebackers line up properly, blitz your nickel corner, and, um, you know, that's really all you have to do. Uh, you can QB contain as well. But that's just going to allow you to get easy pressure off the edge. We just use the, the three rec hook. And we kind of just watch the middle of the field. As you guys can see there, easy sack. Again, if they start to block your, they, excuse me, their running back and do other things, that's when you have to use different setups. So again, you can base the line against a blocked running back, pinch your defense, blitz your linebackers, and then the slot corner, QB contain. Now here with the slot corner on the opposite side of the running back, I pretty much know I can just use her the corner, I'm sorry, not the corner, but the linebacker on the same side of the screen, you know, just take that step forward, drop back, and cover the middle field, and, you know, the running back, he's not going to be able to pick that up. So that's really easy pressure. Um, just to take a look at the replay, you guys can see what happens is, is the running back steps up because we get some gap pressure from the linebacker, and the, the corner, he just comes free. Now, as I said, like, this can also be pretty much ran similar to the Overstorm Brave, where you just blitz both of your linebackers. Um, so, in the event that you wanted to do that, that's really easy to do as well. We could look at, let's just look at, um, let's look at, let's look at the tight slots, right? So, that's a pretty easy formation to take a peek at. So, we're going to block our running back here, um, pinch our defense, blitz our linebackers, QB contain, and we're just going to take the safety stand up in the box. You know, pretty much we're going to stay on the running back side. Again, we're not really looking to blitz. All we're going to do is just touch that guy right there and then drop back in coverage. When you stand on the running back side and touch the tackle, just like I did there, you're going to guarantee that even with extra blocking like we got here, that basically that D end is going to come free. And all we have to do again is we just stand over the tackle, just touch him, then we drop back over the middle. Um, there was really nothing for us to guard here. Uh, I just kind of watched that little middle of the field seam area. And, you know, we got the sack. The running back could not pick this up. So that's kind of like the way you're going to run this as Overstorm Brave. At, actually at a match, a match zone coverage if you want to get the DN pressure. So you guys have seen there's many ways you can run this. You can use it to just try to get the nickel corner free if they're not really blocking anybody. Um, you can make the nickel corner pretty much hard to pick up by blitzing the linebackers and him at the same time. Or you can run it as Overstorm Brave and use it to safety and kind of mug the box. So this is a very, very, very good defense. You can run it as coverage, a simple blitz, a more advanced blitz, even an unblockable blitz. I really do like match coverage this year because it does give a lot of offenses problems, especially bunched and tight, guys that want to use corner routes. This is a good way to defend it. One of the key attributes you're going to want to look at your defenders for when you're running match is actually going to be play rec and awareness. I notice that these ratings are really important in how well they play the match coverage assignment. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. We're going to come back here very soon with some more great, great content. Until next time, it's Duke, and I'm out of here.